this video, we'll talk about multiplication and division of complex numbers in polar form. How to multiply and divide complex numbers in polar form. I have two complex numbers, Z1 equal to arrow 1 cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1. And Z2 equal to arrow 2 cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2. Now, I want to multiply these complex numbers in polar form. This is the principle. Z1 times Z2, Z1, Z2, is equal to R1 times R2, R1 times R2, then in brackets, cos... I will add theta 1 and theta 2. That's theta 1 plus theta 2. Plus I sine. I will add it again. Theta 1 plus theta 2. So this is how to multiply complex numbers in polar form. What if I want to divide Z1 by Z2? Z1 all over Z2. It is equal to R1 divided by R2 times cos theta 1 minus theta 2 plus i sine theta 1 minus theta 2, okay? For multiplication, multiply the moduli. That's R1 times R2. To obtain R1, R2, then add the argument. That's the principle for multiplication. Then for division, Divide the first modulus by the second modulus and then subtract the second argument from the first. That's what we can see here, all right? If Z1 is equal to 8 cos 65 degrees plus I sin 65 degrees and Z2 is equal to 4 cos 23 degrees plus I sin 23 degrees, I want to determine Z1 times Z2 in polar form. Of course, these two complex numbers are in polar form, okay? So based on the principle of multiplication here, I will multiply the moduli and add the argument. That's all. So R1 is 8, R2 is 4. 8 times 4, cause the first argument is 65 degrees. 65, the second one is 23 degrees. 23 plus I sign the same thing. 65 plus 23 degrees. 8 times 4 is 32. Cosine 65 plus 23 is 88. 88 degrees plus I sine the same 88 degrees. So this is the product of Z1 and Z2 in polar form. So what would be Z1 all over Z2? I will divide the first modulus by the second one. That's 8 over 4. Then I will subtract their argument. Because it should not be 65 minus 23 degrees plus I sine 65 minus 23 degrees. So Z1, Z2 is equal to, this is 2, 8 divided by 4, 2, times because 65 minus 23 is 42. 42 degrees plus I sign 42 degrees. This is Z1 over Z2. Now let's combine both multiplication and division in just one question and see. We have 5 times cos 60 degrees plus I sign 60 degrees times 4 bracket cos 30 degrees plus I sine 30 degrees, all divided by 2 times cos 50 degrees plus I sine 50 degrees. It's a mixed operation of multiplication and division. So let's see. The multiplication principle will be applied to this expression at the numerator. So it will now be 5 times 4, which is 20, 20 in brackets, I will add their arguments, okay? So, cos 60 
60 plus 30 is 90. That's 90 degrees. Then plus I sine 90 degrees as well. Divided by 2 cos 50 degrees plus I sine 50 degrees. We will now apply the division principle here. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So what I will do is to subtract the second argument from the first. That's 90 minus 50. Cause 90 minus 50 degrees plus I sine 90 minus 50 degrees. And so we have 10 cause 90 minus 50 is 40. 40 degrees plus I sine 40 degrees. So this is how to handle mixed operations involving multiplication and division of complex numbers in polar form. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel. Like and share the video to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.